At the same time that the world has admired OpenAI's new incredible Sora video generation possibilities and done tests with Apple's new Vision Pro spatial computing headset, I have again explored dimensions of 3D Gaussian splatting technology and came across a new software that I now want to introduce to you. It is called PostShot. Hello boys and girls, it's Olli here again. And I'm very happy that I came across a new Gaussian splatting application that makes it easy to train and create Gaussian models on your own computer. The George Set Visual Computing Company from Germany has developed a very easy to use and clear application with which you can create new generation 3D point cloud models locally. It is a Windows application that you can download from Georgette's homepage. And what's especially great about this is that PostShot is finally a proper software that shows the making process with clear user interface and you no longer have to install and adjust in the command prompt with Python code. So you can directly forget about the difficult setups with GitHub Coach and the complex installations we have had to face, especially with Nerf Studio or the original Indrias source code so far. This software runs great even though it is only in beta version. And it also promised that the minimum hardware requirements is that you only need to have an NVIDIA's RTX 2060 CPU or higher. Since I have already done a lot of 3D scans before and I have a lot of captured data saved, I can now directly import some of these old image sets for testing in the post shot application. I can drag and drop the image sequences here and start the trading process. PostShot accepts also video files. What is particularly interesting in my opinion is that PostShot shows a live preview during the training. We can now finally see how the point clouds are formed and how the process finally starts drawing individual splats. It is very fascinating to watch how the point cloud gets more detailed step by step with each iteration round. Before the calculation, the number of iteration can be manually adjusted. By default, it is set to 30,000 steps, which is kind of the maximum value how accurate the splat model can be trained. Live preview means that you are able to rotate the 3D viewport and zoom into the details while the training process is still running. This feature is very cool and makes you better understand visually how Gaussian splatting structures are formed. BOSAT does not only create Gaussian models, it is a full radiance field generator so you can also create NERF models with it. Of course, training to full accuracy takes time, but you can stop the process at any point you want. Situation can be saved to PostShot own native file format, and of course you can export the model as a PLY point cloud file. You can make small modification to point cloud settings. There is parameters for the coordinates where you are able to adjust the axis orientation of the model or make a box cropping adjustments. In the post short program it is possible to create camera animations. There is very intuitive camera options and timeline features to create camera movements and render them out as a video file. But what's especially cool is that PostShot works directly with After Effects and you can transfer the Gaussian model there for further processing. 
This is the first time I see that Gaussian splatting models can be processed in Adobe After Effects. It gives a lot of new possibilities when you can use After Effects' own 3D camera and connect other 3D objects to Gaussian models. PostShot is a program which gives you possibility to be a charge of your own data, since with it you don't need to upload your images or videos to cloud services. You are able to calculate radiance models on your own computer and in a lot of cases you can train more accurate models than Luma AI or Polycam services can produce. Programming behind this software is very well made, since it is able to perform the whole process even on less powerful computer. As before, I always run out of VRAM memory if I tried to train a model of 30,000 step accuracy. So you can make radiance models with this even if you have mediocre RTX level graphics card. Beta version of PostShot seems very strong and I can't wait what kind of updates it will have in the future. If you are interested to train your own 3D model locally on your PC, I highly recommend to test this application. I hope you found this video inspirational and as always, if you like this, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I will continue to search useful softwares around this topic. Until the next time, thanks for watching.